Hello and welcome to the It's Nick J Show, episode 6 this week. So I hope y'all have been doing well out there. Things have been going well on my end. Uh, we'll start off like we do every week. Let's talk about the channel statistics. Uh, this week, uh, looking here, we are up to 16 subscribers, so that's good. I think we had 12 last week. Uh, so we're up, if that's correct, and we were at 12, we're up 4, so that's great. Uh, let's see how we're doing on our viewers here. So, uh, we're doing better. 53.9% uh, of my viewers are now subscribed, so thank you. And not subscribed, 46.1%. So that is great. Uh, we've actually got that flip-flop to where we have more of you are subscribed viewing my content than we do those who aren't subscribed. Uh, so for those of you who are watching here today and you've been watching and you were not subscribed, go ahead and take a minute, uh, subscribe. Uh, if you want to wait, you don't want to, you know, get out, mess up the video or anything now. Uh, at the very, it's about the last 15, 20 seconds of the video today. Uh, there's a little circle has my picture in it. If you click on that, that'll take you to the link to subscribe. Uh, so those of you that don't know about that, that's real easy. Uh, when you get to the end of the video there, just click on that circle in my picture and it'll take you to where you need to subscribe. So that means you've watched the video and everything and you can go ahead and subscribe. Also, uh, the little screen on the left hand side, that is the latest uploaded video. So obviously it's not going to be today's video. Uh, because you're watching today's video, uh, but it'll be the last updated video. So if you do go back and watch previous videos, in which I have those uh, cards at the end there, and click on those, uh, it's going to show this video. Uh, so it'll always show the most up-to-date video there. Uh, so also be sure to like the video if you enjoy the content. Uh, subscribe, as I've already said and uh, ring the bell for notifications so you'll know when I do post new content and whenever I do start going live. Uh, as I said, things are starting to take shape with the Pro Shop. Uh, yesterday I actually went and got both of my business licenses that I need for city and county here. I uh, also got my bank account and if you are a business and you are in need of a bank account uh, please consider uh, First Community Bank uh, in over on Commonwealth Avenue in Bristol Virginia and if you need to set up a new business account or even a new personal account stop by and see Nikki Kimberland uh, she's w very helpful uh, she'll get everything set up for you and uh, tell her I sent you uh, She'll probably kick you out of the office. No, I'm kidding. Uh, tell her I sent you and uh, tell her to hook you up. Uh, whatever she can do there. Uh, they are very helpful at First Community. Uh, also, uh, in Tennessee, they're known as First People's Bank. Uh, so, or First People Bank, something like that. Uh, but you'll see the same symbol uh, on the thing looks kind of like that. Uh, so look for that symbol uh, in Tennessee. I believe it's First Peoples. In Virginia they operate as First Community Bank. So, uh, But go by and see Nikki on Commonwealth Avenue in Bristol, Virginia. She'll help you with all your banking needs there if you need to set anything up there. Uh, so got the bank account set up. Uh, went this morning, got online here and ordered my register system that I need. And this tells you how good First Community Bank's uh, fraud department is. Uh, it was the very first charge on the account. Of course, it's quite a bit of money for a register system. Uh, right after I hit uh, purchase, I get a text message from their fraud department uh, asking if the transaction was indeed a legitimate transaction. So that's pretty cool that they have that in place. Um, Actually, I have an account with them there who I did my mortgage here. Uh, and I had that happen before when I was on vacation. Uh, some charges came through that were fraudulent. Uh, uh, they texted me. They also called me. Uh, and They got the card, stopped, uh, and everything before anything could get out of hand there. Because uh, obviously I was in South Carolina and these charges were coming from 
uh, Virginia at restaurants. So uh, we definitely got that taken care of. So I've had no issues with First Community Bank whatsoever. So please, if you're in the need of an account for your business or your personal account, please stop by, check them out. If you're in the Bristol, Virginia area, uh, stop by and see Nikki Kimberlin there on Commonwealth Avenue at their branch there, and you'll be glad you did. They're very helpful there, uh, easy to deal with. Uh, so, let's see, business license, bank account, register system. Uh, today we got in there, uh, got some of the tile up off the floor, because uh, we're going to put down some... Uh, well, it's not going to be real hardwood, uh, but it's going to be that nice uh, fake hardwood, uh, the grayish type. Uh, kind of match what's in the rest of the bowling center. Uh, so we're getting that. Uh, we're going to work on drywall tomorrow. Uh, Victor uh, was in there today while I was getting the flooring up, and he was uh, starting to put up some furring strips uh, for the drywall there. So uh, looking forward to getting things going there. Can't wait. Uh, to get open, get things going here. Uh, we're shooting for opening uh, July 1st is what we're shooting for. Don't know if we're going to get there or not, but uh, we're going to try our best. Uh, so I'll tell you more about that as we get closer to it. Uh, and you see uh, Harley's joined me over here. Uh, hi, Harley. Want to say hi? No, I'm not going to say hi. All right. So... Uh, I will let you know, keep that in mind, definitely, uh, if you need any bowling supplies, shoes, socks, uh, you know, well, hello to you too. Uh, wrist supports, things of that sort, any bowling supplies, uh, we will definitely have those for you. If you're in the market for a new bowling ball, uh, we'll definitely have those as well. And come by and support the bowling center as well. Uh, as I've stated before, New Belmont Lanes is a fun family entertainment center. It is geared toward families. Uh, none of that uh, malarkey you find at some other bowling centers uh, as far as cussing, beer, you know, smoking, things like that. It is discouraged. And, you know, if they catch you doing that there, they will ask you to leave. Uh, so, uh, good family fun place. Uh, just like uh, Belmont of yesteryears. Uh, so looking forward uh, to continue working with Victor and Megan there. Uh, great people and just looking forward to that uh, as everything moves on. Uh, so we did talk about, uh, last week we talked about fraud, some uh, scams out there. Uh, really what we talked about last week were the scams that waste your time. Uh, there are some more scams that came up uh, I had forgotten about uh, that were brought to my attention uh, over the past week. So I would, did want to bring those up to you. One of them's new. I hadn't heard of this before. Uh, but one of these, uh, let me see what it says here. Uh, so these ones uh, where they, they're seemingly harmless post. Somebody posts a thing and says, hey, you know, let's get to know each other better or something like that. And they asked something, let's see, what was your favorite teacher's name? Okay, what's some other things? What was your childhood best friend? What was your first car? The thing is, and a lot of people don't realize, they think this is just, you know, harmless fun, no problem in this. If you think about it, these are a lot of the questions that are asked as security questions on sites where you have to give a password. So really, truly, unknowingly, uh, you think you're just playing along this nice little thing here, you know, get to know you, no big deal. You're actually possibly giving someone access to accounts and things uh, because you're giving uh, information to security questions. Um, so be very careful about that. Although it may seem like it's, you know, a harmless thing, you do want to be very careful about that because people can get information uh, and believe it or not uh, these people if they would just uh, go and do something legally you know and make their money that way they'd make millions but no they choose to do things the illegal way scam people out of their money uh, and things such as that so I just never really have understood that because if they put their 
uh, all this brain power and mind power they have to good use. Um, like I said, they can make millions. Uh, so that's one of them out there. Uh, I had another one come through here the other day, and this is a new one. Uh, this is big, especially if you travel a lot. So how this scam works is shortly after you check in, or sometime after you check in, uh, so you'll get a call from the front desk. It's not actually the front desk. The front de uh, the caller calls and says, "Connect me with room 320." They're taking a the chance there. And then when whoever answers, they said, "Oh, I'm sorry. There's a problem with your card. Uh, would you mind reading the, you know, your card number back to me so we can make sure we have the right card number?" So you're thinking it's the actual front desk when it's just somebody who's called in uh, from wherever, and you, not thinking, give them your credit card number. So the thing to remember in this situation is, do not give them the credit card number say I will be right down to get this settled uh, immediately go down to the front desk and more than likely they're going to tell you no there's no problem with the card um, and if they do you can tell hey I just got a phone call uh, they were trying to get my card number uh, that way they know uh, possibly they may be able to get into uh, access to the phone records and get that traced probably won't do any good because it's probably somebody on a spoofed number, spoof line. Uh, so it's probably not going to do any good as far as catching them, but you do want to report it uh, just in case. So anybody out there that does traveling and stays in hotels and a lot, uh, you do want to keep that in mind. Don't fall for this scam. Uh, if they're calling wanting your uh, credit card number, saying there's something wrong, go down to the front desk. Uh, actually find out what's going on there don't fall for these scams so that's that's two more scams out there uh, just the big thing on scams and you know sometimes we all have those moments where we just aren't thinking uh, you know I've had quite a few of them in my life I'm not gonna lie um, but a lot of this if it if you just take just a few seconds and think about it you're gonna realize something's not right here uh, something doesn't sound right this isn't right so before you do anything uh, especially if you even remotely question it stop think especially if it involves anything financial or any type of transaction stop think Look at it again. If it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Don't fall for it. And we talked about that in some of the scams we discussed last week. Uh, but it just surprises me how somebody on a phone can talk people into doing things that they know they shouldn't be doing. Uh, not getting any into any specifics uh, but my former employer, we had employees that would fall victim for things like this over the phone all of the time. And the employees were constantly told, don't do anything over the phone, ever. I don't care if it's the head of the company calling or saying he's calling and he's the head of the company. You don't do any transaction over the phone. We would have courses, uh, training courses, in our computer-based training that would go through this in depth. People would still fall for it. This company had stickers on the phone that says, do not do any transaction over the phone, just hang up. We still have people fall. And, you know, I always hated to see somebody lose their job over, you know, doing something over the phone. But when you're told, don't, 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 and you still do it, yeah. So, um, 
something I said, and I don't. I probably will mess this up. I, I posted this to my Facebook a few days ago. A mistake repeated more than once is no longer a mistake. It's a choice. Uh, so, you know, I don't know what to say. I do feel bad for these people that have fallen victim, but it's your own fault. You know, especially if you've been told and warned and warned and warned, hey, look out, don't do this. You know, there's not much I can say. So be very careful. Uh, if you have any questions, if you are falling, think you're falling victim to a scam, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to look at it and let you know. 99.9% .9 of the time when somebody does reach out to me uh, and they're wondering if something's a scam, it is. Uh, in fact, I can't even recall a time recently uh, where somebody um, sent something to me and it wasn't a scam. Uh, I know one going around right now deals with Amazon, uh, saying your Amazon account is you know something and they're gonna charge your account whatever uh, you know Amazon doesn't do that uh, if they have a problem with your account as far as payment it's gonna go through your payment card company so if it's declined through them you're gonna be hearing from your bank or whoever your card is through uh, Amazon's not gonna you know do anything like that and two I, I can't remember if I told you or not Always check where the email is coming from. Most of the time when you get those Amazon emails, if you click on the from address, you'll see it's not from an Amazon account at all. Uh, and that's your sign right there, stop. Uh, so just be careful about that. Uh, like one here lately, uh, mom has sent me a couple messages several times saying that... Uh, there was a problem with my Amazon account, and they sent it to her email. My mother's email is nowhere in my Amazon account. So uh, it's a thing they like to call phishing. Uh, they're phishing for information. They're trying uh, to get information they don't have uh, so they can make more money illegally or scam somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so just be, be very careful there. Like I said, if you have any questions, you're wondering about something, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to have a look at it, uh, see what's going on, and see if it is a scam. Uh, I can go ahead and tell you, 99.9% .9 of the time, it is going to be a scam. So, let's see what else is going on here. We're a little too early to end this episode, and I haven't haven't done much uh, so far. Um, tell you, it is uh, getting hot here in Tennessee. I don't know about uh, the places where y'all uh, are at, but uh, it is getting warm here. Uh, second day in a row here, we had a gully washer here a minute ago. And for those of y'all who aren't from the south, gully washer means big, bad rainstorm. I don't know if it actually means that or not, but that's that's what we're going to say. Gully washer, big bad rainstorm. Uh, so, uh, and I know a lot of times I try to talk all nice and proper and everything, uh, but every now and again that southern drawl just slides right out. I, I can turn it on and off when I want to, but sometimes uh, I slip right into it without even noticing. So, uh, that's a big thing. Uh, pretty much everything's going well. Uh, like I said, pro shop stuff's moving right along. Uh, Mom and Dad are doing well, for those of you that are uh, asking about them. You know, uh, they just had their anniversary birthdays here a few weeks ago. I think you remember that on there. So uh, they're doing well. Uh, had to go around and around with the, their insurance company here lately, but uh, thankfully... Uh, we got a hold of their agent, and he got it straightened out. Uh, I, I love their agent, and uh, he's also my agent for car insurance, uh, homeowners insurance. Uh, very good uh, 
agent. Uh, he's been our agent as long as I can remember. Uh, I think when I was really younger, we had a different one, but they uh, he moved. And ever since then, uh, been our insurance agent. So uh, if you're looking for insurance, uh, Wayne Humphrey, State Farm on Volunteer Parkway. Uh, they have all kinds of different options as far as insurance. So uh, if you're looking for insurance, uh, go see Wayne. Uh, tell him I sent you. Uh, he'll probably kick you out of the office. No, I'm sorry. Using that one again. Uh, but yeah, go see Wayne uh, too. Uh, like I said, anytime we've ever had a problem, uh, you know, because sometimes State Farm, State Farm corporate gets involved. So anytime we've had a problem, we went and saw Wayne, and Wayne has taken care of it. I have personally witnessed him get on the phone and chew some people at State Farm corporate out and said, this is not how it's going to work. You're not going to treat my customers like this. So if you want somebody uh, that's going to take care of you, uh, when the chips are down, you need to go see Wayne. Uh, great insurance agent and uh, takes care of all of my stuff. So I'm glad uh, Wayne got that taken care of for mom and dad because uh, it's like I told him uh, that State Farm does, did not want me to get involved if I had to uh, call them because it wouldn't end well. Uh, when you're messing with my parents, not going to end well. Uh, so... Thankfully, we got that all straightened out. Uh, the fangs didn't have to come out. Uh, so that is just absolutely great. Uh, so what's going on uh, out there in your area, uh, where you're from? Uh, looking forward to hearing some comments. Uh, let me know what's going on. Is there anything weird, neat, new going on out there uh, that you've been involved in? Uh, one thing... I just remember just came to my mind here uh, uh, the worldwide developers conference uh, was yesterday for Apple uh, so there's a lot of cool new things coming out uh, can't wait uh, I watched them yes last night I was about to sleep like this so uh, I can't recall any of them right off hand right now uh, but it is some cool things I'm looking forward to actually I've got to update this computer uh, that we're watching this on right now. It just went outside of Apple's support life cycle. Uh, it's done really well for me for years, uh, but it is starting to slow down. It's now outside of the support cycle. So I'm I'm going to have to uh, upgrade pretty soon. So uh, I was looking at the new Macs that we uh, talked about several episodes ago. Uh, I really wanted to get one of those blue Macs. Uh, but when I started looking at the price for what I wanted, uh, right now I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, someone who doesn't have employment right now uh, is not going to be able to do uh, what I wanted. Uh, what I wanted was close to $2,000. That ain't going to fly. Uh, also, I was looking on there and looking at the shipping dates. Obviously, they were supposed to start shipping at the end of May. Obviously, all these shortages have affected them as well because now uh, they're showing shipping in July so uh, thinking about exploring another option uh, Apple does have some great refurbished products uh, this computer we're recording on right now is an Apple refurb and when I got it I think I've had it about six or seven years now I've had it quite a while uh, and when I got it it was a few years old it had been completely totally refurbished I think I've said before when I took it out of the box, it looked like a brand new computer. Uh, so this did come from Apple. Uh, looked great. So uh, I've experienced their refurbished products before, so I got in and started looking around there, and I think I found a cheaper option uh, that'll get me within the past couple of years as far as hardware and everything, and what should be good for what I need to do at least for another uh, six, seven years, and hopefully by that time, uh, I'll either be doing really well in my business, or I'll have gotten another job that uh, pays where I can afford that. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Um, looking forward, uh, I just can't get off this topic. Looking forward to getting that business running, uh, and I'm hoping it goes gangbusters. Um, those of you who are your own boss understand what I mean. 
uh, it's just great at the end of the day uh, when you can be your own boss. Uh, you don't have to report to somebody. You, the buck stops here. You're the one that makes the decisions. It's not somebody else. Uh, you don't have to go ask every time you want to do something. Uh, you can do that on your own. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping this does take off uh, and it does do well. Uh, kind of counting on it. Uh, but if not, then I will go back and I guess I will rejoin the workforce. Uh, I can have two jobs, I guess. Uh, try to find something that I can do during the day and then work my business at night. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, just always, uh, those of you who are religious, just ask you to keep you in my prayers. Uh, or keep me in your prayers. You know what I meant. Uh, prayers are appreciated, uh, so definitely... And those of you who aren't religious, then I just ask you, please send good vibes my way. Good thoughts. Uh, if you are in the area, like I said, uh, stop by and see me. Uh, like I said before, if you mentioned that you uh, saw about Nick's Pro Shop on the It's Nick J Show, I will cut you some sort of discount on whatever you need. Uh, don't know how much or what kind of discount that's going to be at the the moment uh, but we'll figure that out uh, before we open also uh, I'm gonna try to have some grand opening specials maybe some uh, prize giveaways uh, we'll see what we can get out there for that uh, definitely uh, want to try to have some stuff uh, to draw some interest in get some foot traffic through the door uh, New Belmont Lanes, uh, they're working on the facility uh, right now, just about ready to get the scoring going again. Uh, so uh, right now is a good time to go bowl because uh, they're running a remodel special right now because the scoring uh, is not currently there. 55% uh, off of normal price. So right now uh, they're running the special $5 an hour uh, per person. That includes shoes. That is, I don't think you can beat that deal anywhere. So if you are in the Bristol area and you're looking for something to do, you know, right now it's kind of nasty rainy outside, uh, go by, uh, see Victor and Megan at New Belmont, uh, give them some business, a uh, good family place. Uh, they are closed on Wednesdays and Sundays, uh, so do keep that in mind. Uh, but any other day, they usually open at 5 o'clock uh, and are open till 10 I believe they're open until 12 on Friday uh, and 12 on Saturday. They also open at noon on Saturday. So believe it or not, that's the end of our 28 minutes here. So don't forget, uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you like the video, click the little thumb at the bottom of the page and um, ring the bell for notifications. Uh, that's all for this week from It's Nick J Studios. This is It's Nick J saying have a great one.